We're recording. Yeah, so you see the position of the final game of the match between the Blaze and the LA Vibe. And uh, I, I uh, being FM uh, Chow, I was accurate in my previous two predictions uh, that Sam Schmeichel, in fact, lost his game uh, having a bad position the whole game. And uh, But Josh Fidel pulled out the win very nicely with a beautiful combination, and his night was just much stronger than the Bishop. Uh, so, like I had thought, it all came down to the Gurbich game. Fortunately, uh, Dmitry Gurbich, like I had predicted, is very, very tricky in time pressure, and uh, you're actually seeing he has a big time advantage, but more important, he has uh, what looks to me like a forced win in a few moves. Uh, it looks like he could check with his rook on d8, and um, basically black would have to block with the knight, and then if white were to pin that knight again with rook from b7 to b8, uh, it, it looks to me like white will win a piece. Maybe I'm missing something, but uh, we only need, a, if I'm correct, uh, white only needs to draw this game for the Blaze right. to advance, That's so, exactly right. so uh, I don't know what would happen if, if Gurevich offered uh, Tatev a draw, and would she take it in a losing position, even though that would be the end of the match, or will she be forced to play on in a losing position? But it looks like um, overall the uh, Grandmasters outclassed uh, the other other side, and uh, the Blaze uh, again squeaked by. And there's one more match where um, the depth of the of the boards is what counted, and uh, first first year first uh, loss of the year for Sam Schmeichel, but um, he was very solid all the whole year, and it's a team sport, so. It looks like um, our strategy overall succeed that they had to press uh, to, to get wins and uh, it looks like they pressed a little bit too hard in this game of mm -hmm. Gurevich as it looks like Black is losing and so I, it looks like the final score should be uh, two wins for the Blaze, one draw and one loss and that uh, sends them into the finals, is yeah. that right? Yeah, that would, that would. So it'll be this, uh, this coming Sunday, um, uh, the time's going to be announced. Uh, I think after this game, I think it, they, they might already have announced it, but uh, I don't have that information right now. Um, but uh, yeah, really, that's uh, I wanted to do one more video before this game ended. And uh, so far, the, this experiment looks like it's okay, and uh, this this match looked really awesome. I mean, like really really exciting all the way from the beginning to the end. You didn't want to miss a single minute. Yeah. Now with Gurevich thinking here, you see that White is thinking, and he's got 11 minutes and. That's just him calculating everything out to the end, and then he will make the final move. So uh, you, you you could almost I almost would guarantee you a win for White there. Uh, Gervich is taking his time. He'll have everything calculated. He'll make a few stronger moves, and then I expect Black to resign uh, within a within a move or two. Uh, I don't see any defense to Rook D8. Knight E8 is forced, and then uh, White could take his pick of wins at that point. Um, Probably, like I said, uh, the rook from B to B8, it, it just looks very strong. And I don't see any common moves for black at all. Right. Um, yeah, I think that would be a resignation. So I think that we'll see, I think we'll see uh, this, this match over with uh, whenever Grovich makes his next move. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you.